When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we have a brand new Pop Mart unboxing. This is one that I kind of teased and it's actually one that you guys have been requesting. I've seen a couple comments requesting these. So this is a series called Pucky, What Are the Fairies Doing? And you guys, I have already had a moment with this box. This series looks like it's gonna be absolutely adorable. And I have honestly, I don't think we've ever opened a blind box this big. Look, it's like face sized. This is a character that is like, I almost said you guys, this is a character that is like another Pop Mart character. Pop Mart, you guys, this figure has an eyelash attached to it. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> Pucky, is like an entire series that Pop Mart does. So this is particularly a Pucky fairy series. And we've done a couple other Pop Mart series so far. Like this is one of my absolute favorites and it's called La Boo Boo the Monsters. So this is an unboxing we did like last year, several months ago now. I think we have 12 to unbox today. Actually we have 11, I did film one on TikTok, but I'm gonna save that one for last. Cause you guys, these are truly, I feel like this is gonna be, this is about to be a whole new experience. So sit down, get comfy, <laughs> grab something to sippy sippy on. <sighs> I had no idea that my coffee was gone and I just slurped up a bunch of coffee bubbles into my mouth. That was not pleasant. Um, as usual, we have 12 different Pucky figures to collect today. And oh my gosh, you guys, now more than ever, I wish that we would get the secret version. Never yet have we gotten a Pop Mart secret figure. This secret figure is in a bell jar. I saw it online already and I'm like, oh my God. Let's unbox this first box you guys and as usual we have the lovely pull tab all right the bag and let's see oh this has several accessories oh my god okay so they all have like little jobs and the jobs are not completely clear so the card will tell us what their profession is but look at this little guy he's like riding a giant it has a name tag on that says space cat although i would have to say does this look like a cat it kind of looks more like a teddy bear to me but look at the little face the goggles the cape or cloak what's the difference between a cape and a cloak. I've never seen an accessory like this before. It's a stick. It's a little teeny tiny pucky baby. And you put it on the stick and then I think they're gonna hold it. Look at that. <gasps> okay, where does it go? This is curious. Give me just a second. When in doubt, I always look at the little cards. <gasps> I think the entire time, is this camera only focusing on big baby? I have to like sit directly in front of the dolls or the camera. Sometimes it even focuses on her way back there. When in doubt, I always say, look at the little card art and it'll usually help you out because look at that. There's a teeny tiny little hole on the back of the figure and there they go riding off into the sunset. This is just literally called Traveler. But I mean, look at these art cards. These are so awesome. I'm not sure if all of the Pucky Babies series, like do they come with like this amount of detailed stuff? Because the other thing that you get is this entire flip book. Look at this. And I am tempted to go page by page and use Google Translate just so I can like read what this little story is. I'm trying to just flip through each page really quick because it's adorable. Oh, this one is like heavy. Is it the secret? Oh, I don't know. Um, whoo, time to find out. This feels large, like no joke. Oh my. 
What is this? It's, oh my God, you guys. I, I have never ever gotten like a blind box with full protective encapsulation. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love when there's like clear elements. Oh, this one comes with a base too. Let me go ahead and affix the base. Makes her look like she's floating. Look at that. I guess this is like a jellyfish umbrella. Y'all, these are so magical. So detailed. The jellyfish even has a super cute face. I'm gonna say that that's a jellyfish. This is the card and it is just called jellyfish. Oh, wait. Yeah, y'all can kind of see. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like yesterday is the first day that I did. I honestly, like yesterday, I realized like just how out of shape I am because I was doing another one of my crazy like outfit TikToks. I cannot wait until you guys see it, but it was like a winter one. And so it was all about like layering. Like I was standing in here in these like studio lights, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen like my fashion TikToks. Those are honestly like my favorite type of content to film right now but it takes like hours hours <laughs> to film those even when I plan ahead hopefully you guys have seen what I'm talking about but it'll be I'll just I'll just like tell you guys like it'll be like how to dress for winter weather and it sounds like a normal topic and everything but then it's like the point is to try and make it like campy and exaggerated and like funny well I don't know maybe some people like do it for real but I just try and make it like as crazy and campy as possible now I'm just like this is just a tea vlog now um oh so cute this one ah, I killed it oh um anyway so the prompt that I did yesterday because all of a sudden we've gotten an incredible cold snap here it was like how to dress for winter weather and then it was like all about layering so I'm standing in front of these super hot lights for like two two and a half hours probably I think I started at like 11 and I didn't get done until 2 40 um and so I'm standing in front of these super hot lights with two sweaters, two pairs of pants. And one of the pairs of pants, mind you, is, ugh, I have to show you guys these in case you haven't seen them yet. The bear pants. Have you, it's like overalls covered in teddy bears. Honestly, these have to weigh like 15 pounds, no joke. So that is one of the pairs of pants I was wearing, plus a jacket, a scarf, a hat. And that was the hat. I was like, wait, can y'all see like this Shrek? Look at this foam Shrek hat. And so it was like the first time that I ever literally thought I was going to pass out while filming. Like I honestly was like, well, I've never, I don't know if I've ever, no, I've never passed out, honestly. So it, it was just like a really weird, like fainty feeling. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so now that I just told my random story over the entire unboxing of this one, look, she's blowing bubbles. And the bubble is like so cool. It's like iridescent, translucent. I think those are like, oh, they're wings. They look so bubble. Wait, do they all have wings? That would make sense. Cause they're fairies. No, nope. no wings on a jellyfish. I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Jellyfish with wings. Okay, so this one is just called Bubbles. So cute, Bubbles, Bubbles. Why does Bubbles sound like it's the name of a character or something. Bubbles? Bubbles? I don't know. So, um, yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm, like, really, like, still, like, tired today. I'm like, wait, is, am I, like, just that out of shape that I'm just, like, putting on clothes? Gonna faint? I feel like I need to get, like, a fan in this room or something, but I'm scared it would, like, make noise, obviously. And also... It would like blow my hair around, I feel like. And I, I kind of think that like part of the joke of those fashion TikToks is I try and like stand really still and then it just like flashes and suddenly I'm wearing something different. So I kind of feel like it would ruin the mood. Is this one sleeping on a leaf? I feel like it would ruin the mood if my hair was just blowing all around. All right, what is this one called sleeping? Oh, there's a little baby. It's so cute. It's so, it's so cute. I really can't get over it. Look at that. 
and the leaf. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like with every Pop Mart unboxing I do, I like the next like figures we open even more somehow than the last ones. These are like so detailed, so adorable, so many things going on. And I just love the mixture of materials too. I feel like every single one of these pretty much, yes, no, almost. I just had an argument in my head. They have like these matte pastel elements, a lot of like clear elements. I almost said a lot of transparent elements. Pretty sure that's the same as clear. I feel like it's not usually that common to see that many different types of like elements being used in these blind box figures. It's usually just like the chase one or whatever that will have, you know, like a clear element or an extra or something, but these are like amazing. Good night. That's what that one was called. Next, are we gonna get the secret one? Everybody debate amongst yourselves now. Oh my gosh, my face is so itchy. Ah! You guys, yesterday was like the first day that I put makeup on and I honestly wanted to put makeup on again today, but every single beauty blender I own is dirty. Like I absolutely must drop, stop and roll. Stop, stop, drop and roll. Clearly that lesson didn't stick with me too well from elementary school. Um, oh my God, do you guys remember like the fire PSAs? That was always like the most, if you're like from Europe or somewhere else, you have to let me know, did they, did they traumatize you at school too? Cause they used to show us these like horrible, oh my God, I'll stop there. What was I saying before fire PSA? Oh yeah, stop, drop and roll. I've got to clean makeup brushes and sponges today because I even feel like, oh my God, do you ever just have a day where you're like applying your makeup and you're using all the same stuff in all the same steps, but somehow this time it comes out looking like kind of crusty? Because that's the experience I had yesterday. Well, I guess, you know what? I was actually thinking this while I was applying my makeup yesterday, which is the tools that you use to apply your makeup honestly makes like all the difference. I think that this is a witch. Is it? Moon River? Oh my God. I used to go to Moon River in Savannah. Totally different, really haunted place. Um, love to go there. The food is also delicious. So every time I hear Moon River, that's what I think of. But I kind of thought that this one was like a witch because she has all of the wonderful elements of being a witch looks like a witch hat with a little moon. And oh, look at Space Cat. Isn't that the same? That's like the same little animal. Now it's just very small. See, magic. She shrunk him to fit in the boat. I'm now just creating my own story. And then look, there's the little bit. No, okay. All the little babies are wearing like different clothes. I was like, hello. I was like, oh my God, is that the same little Baby? Is that why they're called Pucky Babies? Aren't they usually called Pucky Babies? Am I just making that up? So many thoughts at once, you guys. Oh, this is the one on the cover, too. But I love, I almost want to say the little tiny babies. It's like my favorite part. I came to the conclusion that it is honestly, literally all about the tools that you use to apply your makeup. Cause I literally, I had to use a teeny tiny little mini beauty blender, which is usually only meant for like blush, concealer, um, you know, like little spot areas. Had to try and apply my foundation with a mini beauty blender. It was, <laughs> it did not go so well. Um, and then like just all my makeup brushes, they were just like not the right ones. It was just, it was kind of a mess. Um, so I'm like, you know what, today, today is the day. I've got to do, I almost said some spring cleaning. This one is doing something adorable and I just don't know what it is. I'm trying to figure out how, how do I, you know, it's an, it's another one of those and I don't see how it goes. Well, look at this one. I think it's like either riding on a paper airplane or at first I thought that this gigantic thing behind it um, was a kite or a parasail. What's the things that like humans attach their bodies to and then fly around? Is that, what's a human kite? Isn't that a parasail? Cause here's it's little magical, I'm gonna call it a parasail. And let's consult 
the art card and see paper paper plane <gasps> that makes sense because like fairies they're like teeny tiny did i show you guys this little teeny tiny fairy beings so i guess it's just supposed to like have a have a little sit and oh it's like very unsteady making me nervous don't want to drop it um next one is i don't know i don't know why i was gonna be like the next one is this one how would i know i don't know what's in these <gasps> all right you know what i bet if these were like in store though you could probably get sneaky <laughs> and like weigh, weigh them. I always wanted to do that, you guys. And right before, you know, right before, ugh, um, I literally was gonna go to Toy Joy in Austin where I used to get all my in-person blind boxes and I was gonna take a little scale and see, you know, how true is that? Where like the sunny angels, can you weigh them and figure out which one is gonna have the little Robbie figure in it? Cause it should be heavier, you know, theoretically with like two figures inside of a box versus one. Or like if you were looking for the one with the dome in it, wouldn't that be heavier? Although man, some of these that came in those like plastic shells, they're like really heavy also. Um, this one, ooh, it's fishing. Is it, I was about to say something like weird. I was like, oh, is there like a little baby on the end of the fishing pole? Like, j yeah using a little baby as bait for fishing. Okay, um, this is adorable. Okay, first of all, look at the whale's face. Look at the face of the whale. I love that. Um, little like jellyfish, octopus, does it have a face? It does. It has eyes. Why do I find that disturbing? Do worms have eyes? I, I've never thought about this until now. Um, even the hat has eyes. The hat is also sentient. And then there's like, man, these really look like they're having a good day. It makes me sad that they're bait. Anyway, is this one called fishing? <gasps> fishing. Fishing on a whale. Huh? Maybe they're not like not actually trying to catch anything. You know, maybe like fishing in fairy world is just like, dipping a little baby octopus in the water. Next one. <gasps> Act like I must sing as I unbox each box. <gasps> okay, ew, what is this one? <gasps> Does it have an accessory? Accessory? Mm, no, just silica gel. So horrifying. You guys, I just literally looked down and for a moment, I did not think I saw like the record with the time being displayed. And I was like, did I just do this whole video? Just talking to myself? It would not be the first time that I've done that accidentally, just to forget to press record. I always do that when I'm like trying to film with like two cameras because I'll press record on like one of the cameras and then forget to press record again on the other camera. This one is called Rainbow Eater. Rainbow Eater? I almost just threw this and didn't show you guys the card. That would have been rude. There she is, snacking away on a little slice of rainbow. I mean, honestly, that does sound delicious and it looks tasty. Do you guys ever just get like so, like you just crave not real food? Like I always remember as a kid growing up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the turtle pizza always looked more delicious, more cheesy than any human earth pizza. And I used to remember, I, I like literally would always watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, see the pizza, and then I'd be like, mom, dad, can we order pizza tonight? And then I would get the pizza and it was good because I feel like that was like, oh my God. I feel like that was like really popular in the nineties. I don't know. Did Papa John's like, when did, when, when did Papa John's occur? But I remember, oh my God, the garlic butter sauce from Papa John's. People used to fight over the, the sauces at like, um, you know, like school pizza day. 
or whatever. So yeah, I would always, I would watch Ninja Turtles. I would be influenced by the cartoon turtles to eat pizza for dinner that night. And then I was always like, just slightly, I never understood why. Why did the, uh, you know, why was the pizza not as delicious looking IRL as turtle pizza? Cause clearly I had no concept of the difference between cartoons and real life. This is adorable. It's like a puppy chef. Look at that. <gasps> so, so cute. And this one came with like a smorgasbord of accessories, accessories, accessories. That doesn't sound, but neither does accessories. I know I say the words funny, so it's probably not pronounced accessories or accessor accessories. I feel like I always say accessories, but that makes no sense because that's an EK sound and I'm saying AC, accessories. Let me go put on my accessories real quick. I just spat. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this one is a chef. Oh, so cute. Um, none of these look like foods, by the way. Oh, this does kind of look like tubby custard which still to date, that is my favorite internet meme, which is like when everybody thought McDonald's chicken nuggets was tubby custard. Do you guys remember that? Um, and then for the life of me, I cannot figure out what this one is meant to be holding because there is like a hole in its hand, but I don't think either of these, these are two absolutely delicious looking mushrooms. I love the taste of mushrooms already in real life, but I feel like if the mushrooms looked like this, they would be so much tastier. See, once again, I wanna eat these mushrooms. And then it came with an adorable little teeny tiny baby. And I guess it's waiting for its magical meal. And I'm trying to see, see, it looks like it's holding like, <gasps> this is wild. Oh! That's crazy. I didn't even notice that. There's like teeny tiny little pegs on the back of the mushrooms. Cause I was like, there's nothing else in this box. You guys, my legs. That is the thing about like Pop Mart figures is like there is an exact way for each of these things to go. Well, you guys get the idea. There can be a mushroom held by each hand, but I feel like this is like kind of something put it together, set it on a shelf, leave it alone, you know? Um, my feet and my legs are like going to sleep down here. I don't like that feeling. I don't know that anyone does. Does anybody like that feeling? <laughs> it's like when people are like, I love the smell of gasoline, which I do, I, yeah. Um, so I don't, maybe, maybe people do like if their legs fall asleep or something. The camera screen just went dim. You guys, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm too talkative today. Oh, what is this one? Is this a bird or a turtle? I honestly like kind of can't tell the difference. Look at that, look at that. I love these protective shells, honestly. Um, it feels like I'm cracking open a peanut, but inside there's not a nut. It's a cute little, this is an alien one. Look at that. Oh my God. The little hat is a little UFO and there's a little alien in it. That's my favorite feature. I feel, no, I still like the little babies better, but that, so cute. Um, and look at him. Look at that one. So majestic. It is a bird. I was like, is it a bird? Is it a turtle? I almost dropped this one. Oh my God. I would be so sad. I would be so sad if I broke it. Um, what is your job, mailman? <gasps> Y'all, how much more exciting would the mail be if this was the mail delivery service? Last one, let's see if I can speed run it and not tell any additional stories. And <laughs> let's see if I can do this one before the camera dies. Ugh. Okay, I said no. No additional stories. That means I can't have a five minute freak out about silica gel. Okay, you guys, it is adorable. It's just unfortunately not the secret. So no magical bell jar with a fairy inside for us today. But this one honestly looks amazing. It's like, oh my God. This is me if I was like a DJ or something, you know, if I needed headphones. 
Look at that. So cute. So cute. Oh, wings. Wings are there. Um, and the little, you guys. Oh my God. Look at this little star. I have to show this to you before I try and put it in their hand because look at that. She's like holding this little star. Come on now. There we go. Woo. It's like a little star to guide you. Adorable. Okay. What is this one's job? DJ? Space DJ? Picking stars. Definitely. Why, why did I think DJ? I just associate headphones with DJs. Go figure. Anyway, you guys, super quick outro. Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. Let me know which one of these figures was your favorite today. And should I get more of these pucky figures? You guys, each time I do a Pop Mart unboxing, I like discover a new character. And then I'm like, you know what? I wish I had more of these. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.